Hey everyone, welcome to our studio today. We're going to do some special painting today. And this will be a, a, probably about a four week series. We've been doing some portraits and different things at different times. So I think today we'll go back and just paint a real country scene. And I've, if you notice, I've got a dark canvas here. So th that uh, will help us a lot when we start putting highlights in. Anyhow, let's start and see what we end up with. I have no idea what it'll be, but hopefully it'll be something that uh, maybe you'll enjoy seeing. I'm going to do a little light blue first. And I'm going to do a little dark blue. Right? Oh yeah, if you notice I've got some funny spots in it. But that's okay. Now I'm getting more light blue. I'm not cleaning my brush now because uh, I want it to go on. Pretty thick. And so it'll cover most most of the canvas as we go. I'll put a little darker on both on both sides, really. And I'm gonna go down with that a little bit. I'm not sure what we'll do in here and where all that'll end. I've got a two-inch brush here. I want a sort of dark sky, not real dark. So I'll put some more of my light color in. And I'm just swirling the brush around. I'm just going to blend all of that in. Now I'm not sure if we'll have a water in this one or road or what. And I'm just sort of blending that in a little bit. Now I'm going to go in there with a little lighter color. Actually I'm going to Rinse this brush out a little bit. And I've just got some regular, regular thinner there. I'm going to drop that in over there. I'm going to get a little smaller one here. I've got a bunch of brushes. This is a one inch brush. I'm going to put in some big fluffy white clouds. So I'll just grab a little of my white. Now this will be a little, uh, I guess, uh, introduction how to how to paint. I guess you call it the background or sky. I want a little more white. I'm just taking the brush and sort of pushing it into the canvas. That gives you a real pretty good effect for uh, your clouds. 
Now we can put the clouds all over the thing if we want to, but I think I'm just going to put a, a little bit up here. I think I want a little bit more light blue up in this area. I probably don't need to go all the way over to the edge because most of all this probably will be covered up. And I'm just uh, cleaning the brush out with that light blue. Now what I've sort of got there is uh, rain clouds, really. Because I've darkened them down there. Now I'm going to blend that in a little bit. And you can go down as far as you want to. I'm not sure where our horizon will be. Okay, now, I'm going to shadow those clouds just a little bit. You can do that with a number of different colors. I think I want to do it with a little blue. So I'm going to grab a little of that blue and intermix it a little. So I've got a little of the light blue and the Persian blue, dark blue. Basically, I'm taking the brush and just pushing into the canvas again, right at the bottom of those clouds. And what we might do later on, if we want a little more... Uh, definition in the clouds, or, or a little whiter clouds, we might go back and uh, add some more white. But you see that sort of separated them. I want a little darker blue up in this area. Yeah. And I'm going to leave a little uh, texture there. And I'm blending up a little bit more. Okay.
Now I can say over here, probably this will mostly be covered. Rinse that brush out. Wipe it on my paper towels. I'm going to clean my little palette knife off. Now, I think what I will do now, I could put some green mountains back in there, dark blue ones or something. But let me put, I don't know, let's put some uh, different colored ones back there. I'm going to go with a little Payne's Gray and a little Van Dyke Brown. Now I'm not sure how that's going to show up. Let me grab my knife and we'll find out. I believe it'll be okay. I, I'm going to go up a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. I'm just pulling them out at the bottom. And it don't matter too much about over here because that'll all be covered up. Now I could go ahead, let's see. I can do it a little bit. Just blend that in a little bit. Okay, now I'm, I'm not sure if I want snow on those mountains or, or just highlight them. Okay, we've made a decision. Let's highlight them. in that. Oh, that might be too much. I don't know. Let's see what that looks like. You want to? I mix a little uh, red in with that, a little yellow, and a little white. We've already got which way our light's coming, so we'll go with that.
I think I'm going to bring that mountain down this way. A little bit right there. I'm going to grab a little of that white mixed with that. A little more of that stuff. I'm running out of color. All right. Could put a peek right out through there, too. Let's see if we can do that. All right. We're getting there. Okay. I have to grab a little of the light blue mixed with the dark blue or ultramarine see if that's about the right color it might be a little dark a little dark That's about the right color. About the right color. All right. Okay, now I'm going to, real quickly, I'm 
blend that in a little bit. Got to get the right color. Okay. Let's see if we can blend that a little bit. Okay, we got some pretty good mountains back there. I'm gonna put just a little more color on that one in the middle. Wrench that brush out. <clears throat> I want a little more color in there. Now, grabbing a little of the burnt cyanide. Just to add a little color to it. Okay. I better wipe that off, I guess. Lay well, him right there. We've got a few minutes left. Now, what I like to do a lot of times is maybe put some clouds lowering around. I think I will do that. Also, I may make those a little whiter on the end. Now, I think I'm going to make that uh, go around. Sort of like that.
Okay. I've got time. Let me blend that in just a little bit at the bottom. I'm going to grab another brush. Most of this will probably be covered up. I'm not sure what we'll do there. A little bit there. I've got about a minute. I'm just taking the edges of the brush. Okay, I'm going to clean that out. Okay, now, we got about a half a minute left, I think. So what I'm going to do with a half a minute, I'm going to come in here and add some trees in here, background trees, and I need a dark color for that. And I'm going to go with a green. So I'll mix that. Got something in it. Now I might put a little of the paint's gray in it. I want them real dark. And a little Van Dyke brown. Let's try that. We got time? I don't know if I have or not, but let's do it anyhow. Take a small little brush. We'll just start here. I guess we're going to have to say goodbye as bad as I hate to. <laughs> but anyhow, come back and be with us next week and we'll do some more work on our little painting. Goodbye and God bless.